Hi, welcome to Adventures in Bonsai. Today we're on a rescue mission to save a northern mimosa. Let's go take a look. This was my beautiful and one of my favorite trees, my northern mimosa. As you can see, or maybe don't really can see, this used to be full of leaves and beautiful. And it's a nice plant, I really like it. It's got a great trunk. It's in a nice pot that my wife made uh, from mosaics. And what happened is I went and sprayed this after I saw those caterpillars. And I think the spray was a little too much for the sensitive leaves of the mimosa. I think it'll be okay, but then I started to look at it and I said, this moss looks a little bit old in here. Uh, I think we're going to replace it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to, I pulled it out of the pot, first of all, and I found that it was a little bit short. I had repotted it not too long ago. The roots are doing okay, but I just want to clean out this old sphagnum moss, put some new stuff in, and give this thing a new chance. I don't want this thing to die on me. So that's the plan for today. Let's go yeah, ahead and see what happens. this out with a hose. You'll see how easily the old sphagnum moss washes away. Comes out pretty easily. Cleaned it out real easy, less than a minute. A couple little pieces of sphagnum moss, which I can leave on there. Not too concerned about. Got some good roots. Let's Probably pack them up. The top layer of moss. sphagnum moss that was in here. It was a little bit old, just looking not bad. But I put a nice fresh layer on here to give this thing take a good start. Sphagnum moss and put it into the roots. And it's really nice because the roots kind of hold the stuff. They're like. There's little crabs you eat sometimes, and you put a little pat of butter in their claws, and they hold it for you. Well, same thing with this. So I'm putting this in here pretty good with the sphagnum moss. Now I'm going to get you a better picture. Now I'm going to start to fill in and carefully press down to get really good contact because I want this plant to be very happy where it is now and decide that it's going to continue to grow and be a nice healthy plant. This plant is about 12, 13 years old. I was told by a person who lives here in Florida who seems to think that she knows everything that mimosas wouldn't live in Florida. They could never live here. You had to have a Florida poinsettia but forget a mimosa. Well, of course, I don't want to believe that. I like to try stuff. So I used to play chess, postal chess which, by the way, if you want to learn to play chess, it's a really good way to play. And he lived in California, and they had mimosas up there, out there. So he sent me some seeds, and I planted them. And this is one of my seed plants. I also notice I'm not worried about these exposed roots. I don't care if they go down a little bit into the sphagnum moss. Over time, the watering process will reduce the sphagnum moss around here and you'll see the roots again. Right now my main concern is to really get this thing packed in well, make it happy, and we'll take it from there. Little spot back here is a little bit loose, loose, loosey goosey, excuse me, excuse my voice, it's early in the morning. So anyway, this person also told me that my comic book collection would not be good down here. The weather was no good, which is a total bunch of nonsense. 
So I gave it away, kind of, sold it for nothing. Like, this is before the days of eBay. So I don't take her advice too seriously anymore. She thinks she knows everything, but hasn't proven it out. Anyway, back to the plan here. Okay. So here we go. Let's take a quick look at it. Okay, it's been potted, repotted. And now we're going to keep an eye on what looks like perhaps dead branches, but I know they're alive. And they should all start to have adventitious buds start to grow. You'll see these little nodes on the trees. And these are saying, well, I'm ready to grow. I just needed a sign that I need to grow. Well, now it's got the sign, and hopefully it'll start to grow. And we'll keep an eye on this and get back to it. Have fun with your bonsai, and save them when you have to.